Last year's silver eagles were nothing but a hoot. Now, I had to say that. It was given to me, and it was written on the prompter, so guess what? I'll do that. It's not how I communicate, <laughs> but guess what? Somebody wanted me to say the word hoot on the air, I guess. But last year's silver eagles were something special. The special part of last year was, well, the last coin they issued, which was the reverse proofs. And you just can't find them because it was also the lowest mintage figure. Well, tonight, I got a limited number of sets. We got three or four minutes to spend, and then they're going to be gone because the price is only $299.95 for last year's perfect storm when it came to Silver Eagles. A two-coin set, not a one-coin set. The last heraldic, I made that a W, reverse proof. The very first ever Eagle landing, they made that an S. San Francisco, reverse proof. Wow. Two coins in this set, the West Point Type 1. When we flip this over, you're going to see that heraldic reverse. And then we'll span over and show you that new Eagle Landing reverse on the Type 2. This set holds them both. It's a bookend set. It's the last and the first. It's the end of an era and the beginning of a new. And you were not kidding. This is the rarest set of the year. They've only made 125,000. Closest mintage figure were the Satins at 175,000. They made 200,000 Type 2 San Francisco proofs and then 300,000 each on the West Point proofs, Type 1 and Type 2. Again, 125,000 of these, the most limited set of the year. Special. A couple of things also. The regular proofs, 300,000, which were the lowest of that at that time, right? Well, they sell for $150 to $170 a piece. These are the reverse proofs. Significantly rarer and less money. Then the other is the designs themselves. We see the reverse of the heraldic with the W mint mark where it's been the entire series at 7 o'clock. And then the brand new design where the now mint mark will be going forward, which is under the wing at 3 o'clock. But if you go to the obverse, when we get there in a second, look at the heraldic. You'll notice it says, in God we trust, by itself. And then the subtle change on the obverse is also present here. In God we trust. And then AW looks like another mint mark on the obverse. When this first came out, people thought it was the WS error. They had a mint mark double on this particular coin, but it was not. It was just the initials. But they started only with type two, so it wasn't on type one, even though this set is the combination of last year's phenomenal Silver Eagle events. But when you break this down, inside, $299.95 for both coins. That means you're under a buck fifty a coin. That's the best part of it all. Regular proofs are higher than that. These are the reverse proofs. Individually, these reverse proofs sell for significantly more than that. We're in the set, less money. But when you go back and look at reverse proofs in general, that's when this set all of a sudden gives you that tingly feeling of, yeah, this is special. Well, they only made, don't forget, 125,000 of these. Now keep that in mind as we look back at other first edition reverse proofs. 2006, the Philadelphia, 248,875. The 2012, San Francisco, 224,981. And don't forget about that 2013, West Point, 281,310, regardless. All three of these, way north of 200,000. This one, 125,000. That is it. So think about it. We have the first P, the first S, the first W, all north of 250. And can you touch any of those for a buck 50 today? Nope. And then the first design change ever and the reverse eagle that goes with it for less money than the other ones are selling for makes no sense at all. It's all about pricing, it's all about this set, and it's all about value here tonight. This is the Eagle collection of last year. It is the ultimate, yet it's affordable. Buying the individuals, 150 bucks for a W, 150 bucks for a W, 200 bucks for an S, the satins at a buck 40, a buck 50. And this one, way rarer, and they give you both. And the subtle design differences are just outstanding in the rarest format, the rarest look of the year. There's that San Francisco mint mark right on the reverse above the tail. While we're chatting about that and looking at the mint marks, we're going to put a one-minute clock up, though, because we are limited on sets. So 905-9159, and also available on abccoins.com. Thank you for that, guys. Here we are on the reverse, San Francisco, the first reverse-proof Eagle Landing design. 
look at them both. They're both with, this is a great shot to look at the difference in the reverses. The original heraldic, the new eagle landing, mint mark on the heraldic, bottom left, the West Point W, and then again, you saw that S mint above the tail on the eagle, landing in flight. Again, as we're counting this one down, it is nothing but fun because last year was a great deal. We had proofs, we had unks that were Philadelphia, San Francisco's, we had satins. We had a lot of stuff last year, but one of them is the rarest of them all, and that is this particular collection, which is the reverse proofs. And it happens to be a two coin set, not a single coin. And the two coins are old design, new design. Obverse and reverse obvious. Again, you notice the AW on the coin on the right below the motto in God we trust, plus the reverse design change. When you look at the older proof, reverse proofs, and then you look at the mintage on this one, the first ever, it's just an obvious one to me. But at 150 each, 299 for the set, saving hundreds over that of our competition, yep, that's why it sells out.